All right, let's talk real quick about following up inside of Minichat, inside of the Messenger uh, with automated follow-up. So Facebook does have a, a rule that you can't send automated messages outside of 24 hours unless it follows a specific guideline, whether uh, it's, it's for a specific reason. And the reasons are a post-purchase update, confirmed event update, and account update. Um, and for real estate agents, uh, you probably won't be using account updates or post-purchase updates, but you might be using a confirmed event update uh, if you're sending information about an open house or an event that you're holding, you can follow up with that database using that tag. Uh, so just make sure that you are using the tag uh, properly and you're not, you know, misusing it. Otherwise, you know, Facebook might catch on and your page might be blocked um, from Facebook. So you can send any message uh, automated within 24 hours. And when I say within 24 hours, I mean within 24 hours from the last time that person interacted in messenger so if they keep interacting inside a messenger every single day you can keep sending messages forever they just have to interact with the messenger uh every day and, and again this is automated messages it doesn't it's not a rule for every single message just these automated uh, messages and uh, broadcast messages so it basically when you are creating a flow inside of, of mini chat uh, a chatbot flow, you will usually use the within 24 hours option uh, for creating that message. And basically when someone comes into your chatbot, um, that timer essentially starts over. So it's always gonna be within 24 hours if they are clicking on um, something inside of your chatbot, a button or another flow or something that's going to a, fl a flow then the within 24 hours will tr be able to trigger this flow. Now the outside 24 hour window, uh, again, like I, I said, you can use these message tags to send that message. Um, and this is part of like the follow up that's happening. So if you want to send a message uh, 23 hours later, then when they uh, received one message, then you can do that. If it's outside of 24 hours, then uh, you have to use a tag or you have to use a list. And I show you how to create lists in another video, so you can go check that out and create a list. But essentially the list is, um, uh, we got the messenger list right here that you can use. Basically it opts them into um, a, a list that saying that they want to receive messages. So if they give you permission to send messages outside of the 24 hours and on a daily basis or a one-time, uh, limit or whatever it is through this list, then you can also follow up with them outside of 24 hours. So building this messenger list inside of your normal flows, let's say your, your home buyer flow, your, your home seller flow, if you're qualifying those, um, uh, sub those subscribers, make sure that you say, hey, would you like to receive follow-up messages about this? Or would you like to receive our eight rules or eight guidelines eight steps to buying a home over the next eight weeks. Um, you click yes, they click yes, and you have this messenger list option connected to it, then they get subscribed to the list. And then those messages can will be under uh, messenger list. So you create that list, then you can send them to people who have subscribed to that list. So those are the reasons and the ways that you can send uh, messages outside of 24 hours and also use the within 24 hour rule to um, still follow up with your messages. And then the last thing that I'll show you is that uh, under auto, or no, not automation, uh, great. Sorry, uh, live chat. If you go to a conversation and uh, you'll see here at the bottom um, that it says the last interaction with this user was more than seven days ago. So I, you know, I interacted more than seven days ago and you can use broadcast to reach other users like this. So going through that broadcast and using what I showed you. However, if it has been less than seven days, you can still message them inside of live chat. Um, so even if it's been after 24 hours, you can still go into the live chat area. If it's been less than seven days, you can still send a message here inside of uh, live chat. And I think, believe if you actually go to the messenger page like your your facebook messenger page and open a messenger inside of facebook you can send it even uh further i i should have double checked this but i think uh, you might be able to do it out outside of seven days it might be 30 days and i might be wrong so 
Uh, just double check that. Open up Messenger if you want to s send people messages outside of seven days. Um, but usually, you know, if you send it inside of seven days, you you send a follow up messages a follow up message outside of seven days. Sorry, within seven days, you can still interact with them inside of uh, Messenger. So um, can't show you here, but you can also create like canned responses where it's an automated. You know, it's already written up. Uh, so it does save you time as, you know, you know, it's not specifically an automated follow-up message. All you have to do is a couple clicks and you can send, hey, I'm just following up. We spoke six days ago. Can we help you with anything? Blah, blah, blah. Um, you can go in to your messages and send that message and do it really quickly. You know, you have a, a dozen leads that you want to follow up with real quick within that seven days. You go in here, use can responses and, and follow up with them um real quick let me see if i can get all right so this is a demo account so i i don't have any that have interacted in the last seven days but it will show up there you can create canned responses um that are already written out so you don't have to spend time typing a message every single time you can just send the message over and over and over again again within that seven days so those are how that's how you follow up with people uh inside of messenger following the rules following the the 24 hour rule, making sure that you're staying compliant and your page doesn't get blocked um, uh, inside of your account. So if you guys have any questions about the uh, 24 hour rule and how it works, uh, go ahead and drop in the comments below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.